All right, guys, another week, and we are back for some more championship transfer rumours. Massive thank you to you guys for all the support you showed on last week's video. If you want to stay updated with all the championship transfer rumours going around the league, this is your best place to stay informed. Some juicy deals to talk over in today's video as well. Make sure to get involved in the comments down below with any other rumours that you've seen going around. But without any further ado, let's just jump in. It looks as if Jaffa Tanganga's loan spell from Tottenham to Millwall will be made permanent this summer, with Millwall having an agreement in place to take the player on a permanent basis. It's now just up to Tanganga and Millwall to agree on personal terms and it seems as if this deal will go through with Tottenham already giving it the green light. Tanganga obviously spent the second half of the season out on loan at the Den. Generally speaking, I thought he did quite well. 25 years old, he'd have been well aware that he didn't have much of a long-term future at Spurs and a permanent move to Millwall I think is the best move for all parties really. The speculation surrounding Crescencio Somerville, I think he's going to be rife all summer long. He's now been linked with both Napoli and Juventus. Now in last week's video we spoke about Somerville and some of the links that he's already had to Premier League clubs with Liverpool reportedly among the sides who are interested in the Leeds United winger. It now appears as if he's got quite a bit of interest coming in from the rest of Europe as well. 19 goals and 9 assists this season for the Dutch winger. In many ways I think he probably has been the outstanding player in the championship and especially if Leeds aren't promoted via the playoffs there's no doubt that Somerville will be off this summer. To where though, very much depends on who coughs up the most money. Ipswich Town are reportedly among the clubs interested in Millwall's Zian Fleming. Now there was plenty of interest around Fleming last summer. Burnley among the clubs who are most interested in taking him. In the end the deal didn't materialise and Fleming had a little bit more of an inconsistent season. You'd maybe argue for Millwall this time around. His debut season in English football last season was absolutely fantastic. Scored 15 goals and got three assists. This time around, his numbers weren't quite up to that same level. Still decent though, with seven goals and five assists. But once again, I think Millwall are expecting a summer of plenty of interest in the Dutch attacking midfielder. Along with Ipswich, there are also a few sides from Spain who are reportedly keeping tabs on him. In that Ipswich side, I think someone like Fleming would be a decent fit as that sort of second striker slash number 10. He's 25 years old right now. Millwall, I think, were quite right to rebuff some of Burnley's offers last summer. But given the season he's just had for them, it'll be interesting to see what their current value is for Fleming and how much a side like Ipswich would need to cough up to get this sort of deal over the line. Kletcher Iheanacho is set to become a free agent in the following weeks. Everton are among the clubs who are interested in snapping up the Leicester City forward. You'd imagine a mid-table Premier League side is probably his most likely destination ahead of next season. There is currently a lot of interest in George Byers who is at the end of his contract with Sheffield Wednesday. The likes of Birmingham, Huddersfield, Rotherham, Barnsley and Blackpool where he he was most recently out on loan, all said to be interested in the midfielder. In the case of Birmingham, Huddersfield and Rotherham especially, it'll be interesting to see what markets all of those sides are shopping in come the summer. Obviously the main target for each of those sides will be a instant return to the championship and buyers in League One I think would be a good option for all of those sides. No doubt his agents could be busy over these next few weeks. Josh Windass had a really strong end to the season for Sheffield Wednesday and he's now attracted plenty of interest from elsewhere. His deal at Hillsborough is set to expire at the end of the season. Sheffield Wednesday currently in talks over a new deal. As of recording, you've got the likes of Derby, Hull, Stoke and West Brom who have all been linked with the attacking midfielder. 26 games for Windass in the Championship this season, 6 goals and 2 assists in that time, which, all things considered, is a fairly decent return. He is 30 years old right now, so probably looking for that last big contract of his career. No doubt we'll get a bit more info on that over these next few weeks. Swansea City are keen to get Carl Rushworth back on loan for next season. The Brighton loan A, I go as far to say, probably been one of the most consistent goalkeepers in the championship this season. Really good numbers in terms of shot stopping and a good modern day goalkeeper with a really high ceiling in terms of his potential. While Swansea are keen to get him back on loan next season, they aren't alone in their interest as Ipswich Town have also been sniffing 
everything around the goalkeeper of late and with them in the Premier League next season you'd imagine they'd have a significant edge over Swansea in looking to get any deal done with Brighton here. It's no secret that Southampton are keen to secure a deal for Flynn Downs going into next season. Now this one could very much depend on how Southampton get on in the playoffs whether they're playing Premier League or Championship football next season but Flynn Downs importance to Southampton absolutely cannot be underestimated. Obviously a player that Russ Martin already knew very well previously from his time at Swansea. Been really good in that Saints midfield this season. A key cog in how they play and Downs himself has already admitted that he'd love to stay at Southampton going forward. The deal with West Ham would be an interesting one to negotiate. The Hammers obviously spent quite a bit of money to get him out of Swansea originally. He's under contract with the Hammers until 2027 as well so the finances involved in that deal would be interesting but with the player keen to make the move I'm sure Russ Martin would be all over this sort of deal as well. Definitely one that I could see having legs to it over these next few months. Luton Town's Luke Berry is out of contract at the end of the season, already been linked with a few championship clubs with both Watford and QPR in the running to sign him, along with MLS outfit DC United, who I've also seen linked as well. 31 years old, predominantly been used as a squad player for Luton. This season in the Premier League, for example, only played 311 minutes of league football, scored two goals and got an assist in that time. A move to Watford would be a bit of a turn up for the book, given that rivalry uh, between Luton and Watford. It'll be interesting to know how serious QPR's interest in him at this stage is as well. Speaking of QPR, the club are keen to sign Isaac Hayden on a permanent basis this summer. The midfielder obviously spent the second half of the campaign on loan with QPR and had a really good impact on that side overall. There were quite a few clubs battling for Hayden's signature on loan in January but QPR won the race to sign him then and are seemingly quite confident of getting a deal done for the summer as well. Now the 29 year old is still under contract at Newcastle until 2026 but it seems as though a settlement could be reached with Newcastle where the club would be prepared to let him leave on a free transfer. The thing with Hayden is clearly still good enough for the championship and I think would have a good impact on that QPR squad going forward. It's just that injury record over these last three or four years which does make for a little bit of worrying reading, especially if you consider wages and maybe length of contract that he might want to be offered. I think any club taking Hayden knows that it is a bit of a calculated risk because of that, but in terms of the player himself, I mean, he'd be a great addition at QPR if he stayed fully fit. Seeing plenty of speculation surrounding Preston captain Alan Brown at the moment, his future at North End isn't completely decided as of yet, but with his contract set to expire in the summer, the Irishman yet to put pen to paper over a new deal despite that being in the works for quite a while and North End reportedly offering him the highest wage in the club's history most of the indicators do point towards Brown leaving this summer if Brown was to leave whoever was to pick him up is getting a vastly experienced championship midfielder who's got over 400 appearances under his belt for North End Coventry City the latest club I've seen linked but I'd imagine once Brown's contract does officially expire there'll be plenty of other suitors that do come forward the best way to describe Alan Brown is probably saying he's a sort of six seven out of ten in pretty much every attribute bit of a jack of all trades really who can play as a holding midfielder attacking midfielder someone who can break up play or someone who can get the end on the end of chances as well or even be played as a right wing back and has got those leadership qualities about him you can see why he'd be a very desirable player for a lot of clubs this summer Sunderland goalkeeper Anthony Patterson looks like a player who is going to be in high demand this summer with Sheffield United the latest club to be linked to the young shot stopper now pretty Previously, we have spoken about Sheffield United and their interest in Rotherham's Victor Johansson. While the Swedish goalkeeper still seems to be on the Blades' radar, it seems as though they've turned their main focus to Patterson for the time being. Current reports going around are that the Blades could look to table an offer of around about £8 million. We'll be interested to see if that's enough for Sunderland to cash in on the goalkeeper, obviously. Previously, dating back to January and last summer, there has been Premier League interest in the goalkeeper with Liverpool one the side's interest is. The goalkeeping department is somewhere that Sheffield United are looking to upgrade in the summer though and a move for Patterson would be an interesting one for sure. 
And Sunderland's Chris Rigg is also a player in high demand at the moment, currently being linked with the likes of Manchester United, Bayer Leverkusen and Borussia Dortmund. Now, this is, I guess, the template of Sunderland, really. They got to such a young and youthful squad, clearly with a lot of players with high potential, pretty much meaning that every transfer window that rolls around, there's always bound to be a lot of interest in their players because they have so many young and upcoming stars. Rig's an interesting one. Bit of a breakthrough campaign for him last season. Made 21 appearances in the championship and scored two goals. Still just 16 years old. It'll be very interesting. Still just 16 years old. It'll be very interesting to see what his valuations currently are. Well, guys, those are some of the latest championship rumours. But guys, those are some of the latest championship transfer rumours which I've seen going around. Any others that we didn't mention in today's video, make sure to get them in the comments down below. Well, apart from that, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.